Hello YouTube, Chester Boyer, and yes, I'm finally back, and what way to return, what way to celebrate my return with Osama Sentai King Oja. Yes, so we'll take a look at the DX King Oja from Osama Sentai, Osama Sentai King Oja. This is the primary mech of the, of the King Ojers, and this is composed of 10 insects. So yes, the whole, the main motif of the mecha in King Oja is all insects. Yep, no questions asked, so... Let's start with the, the five big mechs in the back. So we got God Kuigata, God Tombo, God Kamakiri, God, Papi, God Papillon, and God Hachi. And of course, we got the um, we got the uh, five smaller insect mechs. They're they're AI pilots. So we got God Kumo, God Tentos, and God Ant. Yep, God Ant. So let's start with the ones that are piloted by the the, Oger, the King Ogers. Well, the main, the big, the big five, you know, the big five mechs. So let's start with God Kuigata. All right, so start off with God Kuigata, the stag beetle. So here you go. It's a nice big stag beetle. Um, very nice. Of course, we have got the nice detailing right here, which I will point that out later. Got the nice tubing here, nice silver paint. Of course, we've got the, we got the uh, nice car. We got the carcass here, which does open and close, which that's for transformation. Um, of course, it's got green eyes right here. And yes, the pincer claws do open. So, and of course, the of course the legs do pose. And of course, the back legs do pose, but that is for transformation. So, yeah. Now, the one thing that's, that's a big theme for all the shoe gods, which, yes, the mecha in the King Ojis are called the shoe gods. Um, they all have some asymmetrical paint detailing going on, which this is intentional. That's because if you go off the King Oger lore, um, the, the Shoe Gods fought against the Bugnaraks, who, who, the Bugnaraks, who are the main villains of the series. They fought them for over a thousand years, and that's why they have a they have like a war torn battle damage aesthetic going on, especially with the paint, the paint um, asymmetrical paint jobs. And it's even down to the, um, as you notice from the Pincer Claws, they are they look asymmetrical. They don't look the same. So, again, given the whole battle damage aesthetic. Which is fine. We we just have to get you have to get used to, especially if there's only like one leg has like has like some brass color, has like, has like the only this is the only that has like brass coloring without the not the other three, but that's just how it is with the direction they're going for. But yeah, so yeah, um, so right to bar articulation, all the detailing again, very nice, even the paint jobs, so very good. So that is God Kuigata. Next we have God Tombo the Dragonfly. Piloted by, of course, Tombo Oger, who is a tech, who is a tech whiz. <laughs> so, yeah, you can see it's a very, it's a very long dragon fight because this part, because this guy splits into two pieces. Like this part becomes like the, a sword. This guy becomes the backpack, which you have to spoil that. But again, very nice looking dragonfly. We've got the nice green eyes right here. Well, metallic green from the looks of it. And of course, we got a clip there, which that that makes sense once we get to that. Get to that later. And of course, he does have some asymmetrical paint jobs, especially on the wings. So you can see, you see, like this guy has like this wing has like two pieces of white paint, two two white pieces, and well, two white splotches of paint. You know, well, there was only one. So yeah. So yeah, articulation, the wings go up and down. That's it. So yeah. So that's God Tombo. Next up, we have God Kamikiri, the Praying Mantis. You see, is a nice looking praying mantis who is piloted by a queen that wears all yellow. Um, so, so yeah, very nice looking praying mantis, of course. And of course, we've got the asymmetrical paint jobs right here, right here, and right here. None, of course, there's no paint, no um, paint splotches on the other side, but this one does. So, yeah. <clears throat> so articulation, hands on the ball joint, and the arms go up and down. So that's it. Now you can move this down here, but that is for transformation's sake. And yes, the back legs do is again transformation joint, and the tail here is a transformation joint. So yeah, not much going on. So, <clears throat> so, so that is God Kamakiri. Next up, we have God Populon the butterfly. So again, very nice butterfly, especially the nice paint tail, especially with the um, random white splotches of paint. Again, intentional. <clears throat> so of course, we got the nice, uh, nice bright yellow eyes. So, yeah. <clears throat> and as you can tell, there's King Oja's head in there. So, yeah. <clears throat> so, articulation, 
wings can go up and down, and the legs, now the legs can go before, they can go like this, but that is for combination's sake, so, yeah. And of course it's on a ball, right? but that is actually because of the, the head, so the combination head, so, yeah. You know, very, you know, it's pretty nice, it's got like some exhaust pipes here, which again, very interesting, so. So, yeah. This is a, that's it for God Populon, if I pronounce that name right. All right, next we have is God Hachi the Wasp. Now, now Hachi can either mean bee or wasp, but looking at the color scheme, it looks more like a wasp because it looks, you know, aggressive, because of the aggressive looking paint job, you know, being all black. So, yeah. So, here's God Hachi, um, very nice looking wasp. Um, so, you got some nice dark red paint for the eyes. And of course, there is some asymmetrical paint going here, which there's a white stripe here. The other side doesn't have one. So, yeah. Again, intentional. So, yeah. Articulation um, the wings are on a ball joint. So, the wings are on a ball joint. So, yeah. And now, now, this is actually a transformation joint, but you can actually do like attack, like you could sting someone. Like you could sting someone if you want to, but. You know, this is a transformation joint, so yeah, especially this, this bit right here, so, yeah. Now that's it for the mecha that were piloted by the 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 King Ogers. Now we're taking a look at the five that they're, they're AI piloted. All right, last but not least, we're taking a look at the five other mecha that, are, that become armor slash, um, well, armor, really, we'll say. So, yeah. So, the, now these, all these, of course, they're all um, piloted by AI, so they're not, they're sentient. They're sentient, so, we'll say. We're going to take a look at the God Kumo, God Kumo, the, the spiders. And basically, they have reverse paint jobs. So basically, this one has, you know, a red body and silver legs. And this one has a silver body and red legs. So, yeah. Now, this will make sense once we get to the um, the combination. So, yeah. Now, possibly for each, for one of these, well, legs move. That's it. And, of course, they do have, they have tabs on, the, on there. But that is for future combinations. So, yeah. Next, we have the God, we have God Ten Toes, the ladybugs. So, very nice, adorable-looking ladybugs. You get very adorable, especially the, exa the exhaust piping <laughs> on both of them. So, they, there's no articulation. They're just pieces of plastic. So, yeah. And here's the quote-unquote mighty god ant. So, yeah. A very nice, detailed-looking ant. Again, very nice. Again, very nice. <laughs> Looks adorable. So, yeah. So that's it for all the mecha that comes with the set. Let's get on to the combination. All right, let's start off with God Kawagata. Now, I'm not going to go off the transformation sequence in the show, so let's go. Let's just take our time by getting all the components right. So, so for God Kawagata, we're going to fold the arms out of the way. Well, the legs out of the way, I'm sorry. We're going to go ahead and straighten out this section right here. Straighten this one out, too. Like that. I'm gonna fold these up out of the way. I'll fold them up, I'll fold them all out like this. And yes, these are ratcheted. Again, very nice ratcheting. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and, well, actually, okay, split split the carcass in half and go ahead and split the legs a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and swing these down. Actually, make sure the legs are like that because because the because the uh, the legs will hit will actually hit the pincer horns so like this so like that. now from here we're going to twist the arms like this and we're going to flip these back like, like this so it reveals the fists so like that we'll go ahead and fold down well as you're going to fold these up you're going to fold this down okay so fold the head down and swing up the pincer claws like this so like that so go and readjust the leg or we're the cog we got the legs and we're going to bend the arms like this now yes the, the arms are actually double jointed so basically that's well there's a good reason why they did they do that so yeah so that is the torso all right so for the other four mecha we're just gonna they're gonna become the limbs so so with god kamikiri fold the back legs up one notch fold up fold the tail becomes the foot and then fold down the torso bit of God Kamakiri. Make sure the heads and arms are straightened out. They have a foot. Same for God Hachi. Just fold the stinger down like this and fold down the wings straight down. Oh, actually, make sure it's okay. Make sure it's lined up. So just like that. So now for God Populon, 
you go split this guy in half. This is a bit tricky, so it's just there you go, just like that. I'm going to put the body off the side, and we're going to unfold the the legs of that, and fold the horns. It becomes the head of King Oja. And for Gautombo, swim in half. There you go. All right. Next, we're bringing Gaku Gata. So Kamikiri goes here. Uh, there you go. And Hachi goes here. Here we go. Just like that. Make sure the... Uh, and, yes, this, and of course, this has an ankle articulation, so make sure all straight out like that. All right, bring this up. And I'm going to take the body of Gautombo, and this is going to slide and clip into the back here. So basically, you have to slide, you have to slide this in, but it'll also tab into place. So it's got to slide this in like that. So there you go. And then we're going to take the head of King Ojin. We'll plop it on here like this. It's all coming together. And next, uh, let's see. Now this is where the um the little the mecha the uh, tiny mecha come into play, which are these ones here. They're gonna become the armor of King Oger, well the default armor. So take the take one of the Gakumos that has the silver legs. This is gonna go onto the crotch. So like this. And if you want, you can go ahead and fold those back like that. And take the other one that has the red legs, and this is gonna plug on top. Just like that. Next we're gonna take the god Tentos or the ladybugs. And they're simply going to become forearm. They're going to become armor. Well, it becomes forearms. Well, the forearm armor, we'll say. Um, and that's right. At least we're going to take the tail of God Tumbo and the body of God Populon. They're going to tap it together like this and take God Ant, which basically becomes sort of like a talisman or yeah, pretty much an accessory for the sword. So this is going to plug onto the section like that. And then I'm going to plug the sword in. And we get this. And of course that just popped off. There we go. And there you have King Oja. Again, very, very cool looking. Very nice. Again, a very, very cool looking combination. So yeah. I do like the fact that the carcass has become a coattails or something like that, which it could be a cape or maybe coattails. I don't know. <laughs> um so. Now I'm gonna talk about the sword. You can leave it like this with the uh, with the with the butterfly wings open like this. But if you want to, which this is what officially it's supposed to look like. Well, this is what officially it's what's supposed to look like. But if you want to, you can fold this in. It becomes like a like a hand guard, if you wish. Just you know, save some some shelf space. So you could do that. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Yes, and yes, you can see there are some unused clips right here on the um. Where my thumbs are pointing at, and, and even on on the feet, similar to Don't Only Taijin, there's some unused clips on the bottom. So yeah, so yeah, very similar. So a little similar to Don't Only Taijin in a way. So yeah, from last season. Now I'm gonna remove the sword and point out the articulation. So and of course this thing likes to pop off. There we go. Okay, so articulation heads on a ball joint. And does go up and down. Well, heads on the bottom joint. Right? Might as well move the legs up. The cool guy legs out of the way. Short articulation. And there's, of course, there's a swivel right here. This one has double elbows because that is for, you know, future combinations. And, of course, there's a wrist. There's a wrist wrist movement here. My question, is there torso articulation? The answer? Wait. Now, is there torso articulation, may I ask? Yes, there is. Awesome. Very awesome. And of course the legs are a bit tricky. Um because of the because of one of the spiders being in the way. So it goes out like that far. Of course the legs can swing out to that far. And of course there's knees, of course. And of course there's ankles that I did point out earlier. So that's something. So in my opinion, I think the articulation is a little bit better than um, Don't Only Taijin. Not saying Don't Only Taijin from last year's Sentai was terrible. I mean, it was great. It was, you know, of course, I mean, Don't Only Taijin was a big step forward from Bondi. You know, putting articulation into DX scale mecha. So, which I will agree. So, which... 
Now, after I'm going to cut here and show you off a size comparison between this guy and Don Oni, Don Oni Taijin. And for a size comparison, here is next to the big, mighty Don Oni Taijin from Avatar Sentai Don Brothers, which was last year's Sentai season. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty obvious. I mean, I mean, articulation for Don Oni Taijin was great. Again, a big step forward. Well, this one's got like a bit more, a bit better articulation than Donny Taijin. Again, not saying this guy is terrible. Okay, he's not. He's awesome. This one is just as awesome as him. So yeah. So there you go. Quick little size comparison. And this concludes my review of the DX King Ocha figure. So overall, again, just like with Donny Taijin, this is a big step in the right direction. For Banda, who are trying to put, incorporate a lot of articulation into DX scale mecha. Again. Again, this is a very nicely nicely designed combination. Um, of course, you know, from last year, don't, from Dome Brothers, there wasn't a whole lot of mecha. Like, there was, you know, Dome Taijin, Torador Gonjin, and then the Omakoshi Phoenix that combined with those two. And that was it. Or for this year, for, for, for King Ojer, we're going to get auxiliary mecha. A lot of them. So, yeah, because, you know, since there's, there's, there's so many insects in this on this planet, we're going to get a lot. So, yeah. Especially with the Guardian weapons, which are, we'll, we'll take a look at the first two next from the next review, and we're gonna get you know we're gonna get like you know more weapon you know weapons you know that can you know attach to his arm you know the chest and of course you know maybe the legs you know especially the ones on the bottom. But again, we'll see what the future holds for King Oger. I mean, this going this we a lot of King Oger mecha coming. So yeah, I'm so looking forward to the season. So. So I was gonna say about King Hoja. I mean, if you're a fan of you know insect themed mecha, then go and get this thing. Then get the set. I mean. So yeah, that's all I gotta say. So for my next King o King Oja review, I'm gonna take a look at the DX Rolling Hammer and Snail Gatling. So the first two Guardian weapons. So thank you for watching. I hope what you saw, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon next to it. If you wanna follow my Twitter for Facebook page, links are down below in the description. So I'll catch you next time.